Yo, what up fans? How's it going? Is it going good? I hope it has. It's been like, what, a month and a half? Woolen, what on earth have you been up to for the last eight years? Uh, you know what I've been up to? Bugger all, basically. <laughs> I've, been, I've been streaming. I've been streaming. But I thought today I would play some Team Fortress. I'm in a good mood. I'm excited. And we'll talk about, more about that as we go on, but I figured we'll turn this on, we'll do some, do some spy. It's been a while. I think I've played this game for roughly zero hours in the last month and a half, so I thought it'd be fine to come back and play some spy. Because like even if it's spy I've played this year, I have not... Well, even in the TF2 I've played this year, so I haven't played any spy. So it might be a bit of fun. It's like watching someone who used to be able to run the 100 metre dash come back with a broken leg and try to drive around the track in his tiny little Land Rover, you know? That's what I'm going to be attempting to do here, as I slowly remember how first-person shooters work, a video game genre which I have not been playing. You know what I have been playing? Obviously Osu. What else would I be playing? But no, I've been playing Monster Hunter as well. So it was recommended to me. I think it's on sale right now if, you, if you've ever been curious about it and you want to give it a go. Monster Hunter World was recommended to me ages ago. Oh, hello. Um, but it was extremely expensive and I was like, I don't know if I want to play this right now. Maybe maybe I should play something first, like beforehand. Um, but it went, I, I got it for like 30 quid a couple weeks ago, and I've been playing that constantly. I have like 50 hours in it now. I love that game. I've been playing it with Tomu, my good friend Tomu, who, um, those of you who watched the Highlander VODs might remember him, maybe? I think he was in some of those. What the heck? Is that a Sendry or Sendry? Yo, Porky's on the other team. This is like a bloody Prem stag. Do you I haven't said anything in chat. Alright, Porky doesn't know that Proud Father with Woolen's avatar is Woolen. I thought I recognised that sniper hat. Well, that's a that's a weird way to get back into it. Maybe we shouldn't play Eternal Reward Spy against Porky. I didn't... To be honest, I didn't realise he was still playing. I didn't realise anyone was still playing. Like, my chat told me about the bloody Nations Cup. There's still a Highlander Nations Cup that people are doing, apparently. Like, that's still, that's still going on. I think England won, maybe, probably. But, like... I, I don't recognise most of the people in this world. What the heck? Um, maybe I should play like Sniper or something. I don't know. I just thought I would have like a fun little casual game and, and talk to my chat, but instead we're being like rolled by a Highlander stack. I only recognise Porky and Ascendry, but I bet I bet there's more than just those two playing together. I didn't know Porky knew Ascendry, to be honest. Assuming it's the same guy I'm thinking of who played Pyro 1... Oh, bloody hell, what was he on? Chess Club? He was on Chess Club, right? Is Porky on Chess Club now? Do you think he still has headphones on if I just go like this? Oh, naturally. I was going to butter knife him to death and then taunt, as you do with your friends, but... Maybe not. Maybe I'll find a different server. Or maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just stay on this server. Maybe it'll be interesting. Maybe? I'm saying maybe an awful lot as we're playing Thunder Mountain. Do you think he recognised who it was, considering they tried to butter knife them in the face and their spies covered in cats and dogs? Hmm, teams indeed. Maybe maybe Eternal Reward isn't the best idea. Maybe maybe we should try... What do, what do the other knives do? Sharp dress is kind of cool. Dears for Doragon, Ravioli. Poot. I don't remember this. I, to be honest, I don't remember a lot of this. I, I was, I've been watching GDQ lately, as I'm sure many of you as well do, when the GDQ comes on. Um, and I've watched, like, the Minecraft run where they did a, a non-seeded one. Because, uh, you know, like, once you've seen a once you've seen one Minecraft speedrun with seeds, you've basically seen all of them. Because it's very rare that they find a new seed to run Minecraft on. But the the unseeded one was pretty interesting. I mean, the, the, the people in the call I wasn't sure about, but the actual run itself was quite interesting. But, like, they were like, oh, yes, th so this, this was, like, an update from, like, six or seven years ago, so it's ancient. But they were doing all these things that I didn't recognise. And I did, I did a Minecraft playthrough, like, last year. Even this year, I think, at the start of it, uh, on the stream. We played it, I think we played Vanilla, and then we played Feed, Feed the Beast or Technic or something. I don't remember. But, like, it, there were the features in that were in this as well. Like, the, the tiny little zombies that chase you everywhere. I thought those were, like, a stupidly new feature. Apparently they're like half a decade old already. I, sh I assume they were basically just playing in like the release copy of Minecraft from when I roughly stopped playing it properly. Who's this sniper? So I know, I know who the sniper is, so who's this pirate? Oh yeah, the Dead Ringer. You see, even stuff like this. <laughs> Turns out when you don't play something for a while, you forget about changes that were from two years ago. 
Um, and I already forgot... I already forgot they bloody changed the spy class, if I'm honest. Very easy to forget. <laughs> you play... what? What? How many hours do I have? Like 1,500 hours or something? They change it and then you play 10 hours of it. Pretty easy to forget, like, absolutely everything. It's like, it was all muscle memory. Like, I ran over to the ammo pack like it would be helpful. Did not help at all. Can I... If he... Spy, kill him. He's an enemy spy. I thought he would help me. Instead, everyone on their team's an enemy spy. He, the, sol the soldier's definitely gonna chase us, right? He has to. It's in his right as a soldier class. Oh, but anyway, let me let me go on to the conversation that's irrelevant to the to the video game that I was going to make. I uh, graduated a couple... well, it must have been like a month or and a half ago now. I meant to make videos sooner than that, but I couldn't be asked. Um, probably not the excuse you wanted to hear, but I'm very lazy, and I felt like I did I did my good job, and I didn't need to work anymore, so I've just kind of been streaming. Which is still technically work, but it's way more fun to stream than it is to make videos. I'm sure many of you will agree, the difference between sitting and talking for half an hour by yourself, and then listening to your own voice for like an hour while you edit it all, that's way less fun than simply, you know, talking to your chat, playing your game live. Can someone want to set up my dead ringer? It's just Porky. He ya. Uh, backstab. I thought he was gonna like. I was gonna like do a dual stair stab where like I forced him to come up the cliff here, and then he was gonna come over me, and then I was gonna do like that. Like the muscle memory for funny trick stabs has completely gone out of me at this point. As is apparently the knowledge that the dead ringer doesn't work immediately. You have to wait for the whole animation, don't you? Yeah. Anyway, moving on. I. Graduated, I got my first, which I was not even working towards. I was working towards a 2-1, I think as I mentioned in like a commentary or two ago. But I ended up, you know, I pulled my socks up, worked very hard for like the last year. Um, and got my first, which is really, really cool, because it's in computer science. So, like I've already got a job, which I'm quite happy about. Haven't signed the contract on it yet, but I'm meant to get it done like around now. I'll give them a couple more days. But like, yeah, so... But life's just been, like, slowly sorting itself out, turning its gears, as it were. I've been trying to sort out where I'm going to live next, up in London. Uh, doing bits of research up there, went to go visit sisters who live up there. Been trying to sort out, like... Because my flat's currently on, like, a two-month extra extension. I've had to, like, re-sort out, like, my insurance and all these other things. So it's all just been a mess, you know? You have a lot of things that hit you at once. Not particularly exciting things, just stuff like getting your car MOTs. Um, and getting the back two wheels and your car fixed, and then suddenly being like 130 quid poorer, because apparently the wheels on your car, they go round and round, but they also drain the shit out of your wallet, apparently. Um, problem, but, you know, I'll live with it. Yeah. I might be- no, I'm not about to be backstabbed. Oh, this pyro is gonna have a whale of a time, isn't he? I'm gonna hide here with you. I'll defend this engineer with you. Look, I'll undisguise so he knows he's me. I remembered Q is my undisguise bind. Isn't that exciting? Um, anyway, yes, in other news, been playing Monster Hunter, been enjoying that thoroughly. I would highly recommend it if you like action games with boss fights. It's literally just one giant boss fight after another over and over and over again. So like, if you like Dark Souls, I think that's what I went into it with. Um, it's basically just boss fight after boss fight. Honestly, I enjoy the multiplayer more. You can kind of just play it with your friends. We helped with that. Um, you can do single player. I know I know Tom who did most of it single player, but he's playing it with me now. Honestly, yeah. Highly recommend it. Obviously use the hunting horn. It is a trumpet that you can kill enemies with and play deathly tunes to give yourself buffs, and it's amazing. And apparently almost no one uses it, despite it being actually quite strong. Everyone always just goes like dual swords or something. Uh, which I'm sure is fine. You know, if you, you can use what weapon you like, but... The kind of crux of Monster Hunter is that you choose a weapon type. There's like, I don't know, 12, 16. Um, you pick one and you can go with it, or you can just switch to make another weapon type. If you, you know, if you play for enough hours, you'll eventually have enough materials that you can basically just craft whatever kind of weapon you want. Might have to farm a little bit to get the upgrade for it, but regardless, it's well, it's well done. It's a good game. I'd really recommend it. That's all I was getting at here, I think. It's weird. You don't play a first-person shooter much. You suddenly, like, lose the ability to aim in it. It's quite weird. But you know what I haven't been losing the ability to? Um, speed in Osu. I've been practicing stamina in that. Uh, the other day I passed a four-minute-long 200 BPM death stream. 
uh, which you haven't which you haven't seen. It's just a lot of circles one after the other for about four minutes uh, with no break, and it's quite <laughs> it's quite hard uh, just to pass it. So I've been I've been working on that, working on my stamina, making sure I can do speedy things, not just in a burst, but for a long time. I'm hoping to be able to full combo that at some point. I got a, I only did it once, but I got 25 misses out of 3,000 notes, which is not too shabby, to be honest, considering it's meant to completely drain your wrist of all power. It's weird, because I'm definitely going to give myself, like, RSI or something playing this game. Yet for some reason I keep going back and playing it. What does this Porky want? Go kill him, fake Gabby. Oh god, that... Like, they still haven't fixed that with the flamethrower, where it, like, gives you... Uh, <laughs> Gives you a visual epileptic fit whenever they shoot the floor. Y you know what it is? It's like the, it's the source of the particle being the wrong side of the model, right? Like it's meant to be coming out of their eyes, but then the particle actually comes out the end of the flamethrower. But for some reason, it aims at the floor instead of ahead of them, and it does that awful effect. Um, but also in other news, in the best news of all, uh, my favorite manga, which is called For My Daughter, I might even defeat the Demon King. It's my favorite thing of all. I love it so much. I've been reading it for bloody ever. Uh, it's got its bloody anime adaption coming out like today. I think it's already aired in Japan actually. But it's it's a nerdy thing of me to say, but I'm very excited for this. Like it's when you see something that you've enjoyed for so long get like the recognition it deserves and become like maybe mainstream and like be popular with everyone. It's such like a it's such an amazing feeling, especially cuz you're I'm hoping I can it, it looks a little low budget maybe. Like it's not I doubt it's going to be as good as the manga, it would be very hard for it to be. Because really the whole point of that is that some artists spent, you know, weeks and weeks drawing each uh, each page and stuff. So obviously they'll be able to squeeze out the most quality, whereas in an anime, they want to get it done every week. But you know, that aside, they can't, they can't go that badly. I'm sure it would be pretty good, and I'm looking forward to it. And I hope other people watch it and go like, yeah, this is fucking slaps. I hope it slaps, at least. It'll be quite hard to. Like, um, you'll also know I mentioned before... I quite like Senko-san, it's like my second favourite manga. The anime adaption for that was alright. I, I, I've really enjoyed it. It wasn't as good as the manga, again, but very few things are. But I think they did- I got over the fact that they got a voice actor that sounds like she's 12. Because uh, in my head I always imagined her as like a really old lady. I got over that, um, and I just enjoyed the show regardless. So hopefully this is good. I'm excited. And if it becomes like the next super popular, like, One Punch Man thing, you all- you all owe me, alright? You all have to know that Woolen was there first. Not only is he a coffee hipster who drinks from his Aeropress and grinds his own beans, but also he was the first person to really like for your daughter. Not the first person, I know Akashi quite liked it. He's on our Discord. But anyway, that's it. That's that out of the way. Just wanted to let you all know I'm excited for something for once. Ah, the old classic bullet spread. Oh, it worked. Does anyone else want to shoot the scout? No? Alright. Well, I'm glad I stayed in the server. We seem to be doing all right, surprisingly. <laughs> God, this game's weird. You don't play it for a while. You come back, it still just kind of smoothly rolls around. Is Porky? Porky said he wouldn't say anything in the chat, would he? I don't even think he has chat enabled. Or at least he shouldn't. I hope he's all right. He said hello like a few times in the last few months. We used to play a lot of PUBG together. Hello, Porky. Shout outs to Porky, by the way. Let's keep playing. I'll have other things to talk about. Man, I love Snowy Coast so much. It's such a good map. Why are you hit- Wait, who's that? Oh, you've got a Danganronpa sign. Is that what that is? Daniel likes Danganronpa. He keeps telling me to play it, like on Steam. I know it was a bloody PS Vista game, I think. He's really into it. I Ibiki? Hi Hibiki? Ibiki? Ibuki? He likes? I don't know who this character is, but it's, it's that same kind of art style, isn't it? I'm gonna ask him. Hello, what character is that? Is it Dangon Rompa? I'll ask the son. Do you think he reads chat? We'll ask him, see, see what he says. He says, of course. Is the character called of course? I could see that, it's a Japanese game. Let's use the ambassador. I haven't used this thing in like a bloody- Oh, I used it in a commentary once. So I can't just say I haven't used it in years. Let's pretend. Let's say I haven't used it in two years. Two, three? When was the Pyro update? Oh, Asendri's here. Was Asendri not playing with Porky? Did they just happen to be in the same server? Really? That's unlikely, I guess. Because, um, as I said, like, earlier, my friend, my friend, my chat... Yeah, you know what? My chat are my friends. My good, loyal friends who sometimes watch other people. <laughs> um, 
they said, oh, you know, go look at the Highlander Nations Cup. I recognised very few people. There were like some new people who were like Prem players, and I, I had no idea who they were. They, their first seasons of Prem was like the end of 2017, start of 2018. They were like, oh yeah, this medic's like really good. How have you never heard of him? He just, just didn't play at the time. <laughs> like, it's weird. It's also weird that people are still playing it so much. I, I honestly thought everyone was talking about how like the game was going down a shithole. Yeah, apparently we still managed to get like I don't know, like twenty Highlander teams to make a Nations Cup. I I didn't. I thought there would be like England and Germany had enough players to make a team, maybe, um, as they always did. But it turns out like, all these people are still playing. Apparently, Thazu came back to play. I saw Grenger Bob was on the list. Good old, good old Grenger. Haven't spoken to him in a while. I hope he's doing all right. I hope all these people are doing all right, to be honest. I quite like them. Even if I don't speak to these TF2 people anymore, or really have any reason to. Like, unless they're in my Discord, how am I ever going to, like, you know, start a conversation with them? You know, I don't, I'm not going to go onto the I don't know, TFTV forums or whatever site they're on and just casually have a little bit of a chin wag. So, you know, I hope they're doing all right, even if I don't say hello. That was kind of like my half, like the whole point of me playing uh, competitive was so I could talk to nice people. God, I haven't really, it really has been a while, hasn't it? You, like, completely forget how this kind of thing works. Maybe it isn't a good idea to... You know what, it'll be funny. Chat, you'll be able to watch this and go, Woolen, what happened? I'm better than you now. Yes, the answer is yes. Please be better than me. If you aren't, you've got some something serious to answer for. So maybe this will be reassuring to some of you who are like, Well, oh, I still want to play Spy Woolen. Can I be better than you? Yeah, easily. Play, play the game. And you've done it. It's quite exciting, actually. Medic, come back. Why is he standing? Oh, they nerfed this weapon, I just remembered. <laughs> I was like, hang on. Why did I stop using this thing? That medic's on like 20 health, let me just kill him. It did 54 on a headshot. Oh my god. You can do it, Werder. You can do it, my son. Try your best. Wait, should I even be using the dead ringer? Does it matter? No, not really. Hang on, is this guy cheating? Don't cheat. The answer is no, he's not cheating, but... If he was, that would be a really easy conversation topic. Um, so apparently people are still getting DDoSed in this game. Like, that's still a thing that never got solved. Like, Valve never... Valve never decided to do anything about that. Which I thought was kind of weird. We've got, like, there's like a charity event coming up soon, isn't there? Like, quite a few. What, what are they gonna do? Are we... I guess I'm just gonna have to, like, hide the IP and stuff. But what, are we not gonna have, like, a... Or whatever events are going on as well? Are they not just... And they're not gonna have, like, a community pub like they normally do? Seems a bit weird that they, like Valve have just completely like they haven't done anything, have they? They added some medals from the workshop, right? Didn't they also add a thing where they said you're not allowed to have any new medals? Pretty sure they did that. Which is kind of weird for charity events. It's weird, you know. It's fine because I see that there's a lot of um, weird little tournaments going on that get their own medal. Honestly, I thought it was kind of cool, but I guess people were annoyed about the bloat it was giving. Spy, do you want to shoot the skull? Trying to get rid of the teleporter. See if he comes through. I don't think I'll get telefragged here, will I? Stop that. Stop that. This is kind of fun. Why did I ever use a gun in this game? You can just click on people and make funny noises. Yo, is there a spy? Come back. Heck! Epic trick style. I think I should have like done something there, but I didn't. He knows I've come up. He plays spy, doesn't he? I bet he knows what spies do. I would know what spies do if I played more. He are. By the way, viewers, if you don't say he are when you get a headshot, you're a coward. Especially if that I didn't know if that guy was on my team or not, to be honest. I don't know how you're meant to tell. He was all dark and up in the sky. Like, skyboxes are weird in this game. They still make it so, like, if you go slightly out the skybox and the map maker hasn't put the, um actual like invisible wall up you'll go outside of where there's light and it will look like a source filmmaker poster where you go outside of the uh, outside of the bounds he are also yeet as well you can use yeet i'm a big fan of these words they're becoming popular um i hear that's what all the kids these days are telling me words like yeet brand new came up with that last week myself you're welcome to use it if you think it's funny i won't judge he ah he shot me it might hurt a little bit to say he are, but eventually you'll get used to it and it'll make you better. And the more he are's you get, it's like a positive reinforcement. It's like Pavlov's bell, except there was no bell. You were lied. Everyone was lied to the whole time. 
Russian bloke, Pavlov, right? Oh, yeah, he did the experiment with the dogs where he rang a bell and they sal salivated because they thought they were getting it fed. That's bullshit. Like, he did a bunch of dog-related experiments. Didn't do shit to do with a bell. That was all made up. Don't know who made it up. It's a weird thing to lie about. But yeah, Pavlov's bell. I'm pretty sure it was QI they told me that on. They, you know, like Stephen Fry and Alan Davies wrote to me specifically saying, Woolen, don't tell anyone. Do not, this is a complete secret, but Pavlov's bell is actually just a complete lie. Although he did win the Nobel Prize, so there you go. I didn't even make the easy joke there about the Nobel Prize, because um, that's Stevens. I know I'm on a first name basis, but that's, uh, that's his thing. I wouldn't take that from him. Hello. What do they want? Medic, can you give me the... Thank you. I can, remember that? I used to say the big click a lot, didn't I? Oh. You see what I did there, actually? I had some muscle memory built in, which is really weird. I didn't even think about that. Um, I accidentally disguised before I set off my dead ringer, and there would have been, like, smoke everywhere, so I ran back. Weird little thing. I think he's gone over here. I mean, that's where I would have gone. I think he did, right? I think he's gone in here. Where is he? Oh. Take that, Lester, sir. You might make delicious red cheese. Like a creamy cheddar. Mm. But, uh, what are you doing? Not going yeet and yoke in the current day. This sniper's gonna get me killed, isn't he? Heck! If you jump in that corner, um, you get locked in and die. Uh, just a little thing to know. If you're wondering... You know, what's the clipping like around that object? Don't jump. Fun little fact, just for you to remember. Oof. But anyway, I've, I've talked about my graduation, and I've talked about how I've been playing Osu and Monster Hunter, and how For My Daughter is getting an anime adaptation. Um, I'm kind of out of stuff now. I guess we have to just play the game. How the hell do you do that? Make a commentary about a video game. I haven't done- actually, you know what? There you go. Bang. I've got, I've got a conversation topic. My, uh, second... Yeah, hello. I have a second YouTube channel, as I'm sure absolutely all of you definitely know about, uh, where I post Twitch VODs and stuff. So, all the playthrough of Monster Hunter is on there, as is... Oh, bloody hell, what else did we play? We played Zelda... No, we put Zelda 1 on this channel, didn't we? Uh, hmm, Osu VODs are on there. There you go, you'll think of something. I think we had some Zelda randomizers. We did Wind Waker and an Ocarina of Time 1 that were on there. So just if you're, like, bored this summer and you want some background content, and you've already watched all 69 episodes of high-quality Zelda Breath of the Wild content, then there you go. There's a bunch of Twitch VODs on my, on my other channel, which you can watch, if you like. Probably pretty good background audio, actually. Um, if I do say so myself. I think he's hidden, like, in the corner. Well, I'm kind of paranoid now. Where do you think he's gone? Stop that. Stop that immediately. Sorry, I mean, um, he ya Wait, what was I saying? He ya No, what was I saying? Yote? Yoink? Yoink, probably. He didn't blow up his stickies. Maybe they're not a Highlander stack. As I'm sure all of you will know, um, Zelda Breath of the Wild is getting a sequel. So if you are curious, whenever the hell that comes out, I'll definitely be playing it for like a thousand hours. So if you're like, oh, you know, Wallen, I liked the 69 episodes of Breath of the Wild. I want more. Don't worry, my son. My human beings. My young beings. My friends. My comrades. You live in a van, ha 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 ha. But also, yeah, we'll be doing more of that. I think I might, I feel like I might do like a Pokemon randomizer as well. That might be fun. Heck. Oh, there was a tiny little scout there. I didn't even look at him. I was just so focused on a Sendry and his hat that he's owned for 10 years and apparently never gotten rid of. Like, I've sold all of my stuff by now. I've to I told the story, right? I think I did. I mentioned it at least. I had my, like, uh, Burning Flames Chulo, I think it was called. The, the little fluffy hat. Not the woolen warmer, the other one. The old, slightly older one. Like, it came out like a year before or something. I had a burning one, and I, like, got bored, and I was like, oh, this has been up for sale for two years and no one's bought it. So I quick sold it. And, like, five minutes later, someone wrote on my Steam profile that they were going to fall by it. I'm pretty sure I've told that story. But just in case you forgot. But yeah, so I have, like, nothing left in my backpack to sell. Everything I've got now is either important, like, sentimentally, or is, like, gifted. Because, remember... I did stream this game. I think I've streamed like 1,500 hours of Team Fortress. Did a lot of it. Um, we had like item donations on and stuff, and people liked having me use like their strange or something. So I've got those lying around. 
Nice little little clay. I'm like a bit, you know, uh, Smaug. Smaug. I always called him Smaug, but the Americans called him Smaug. So now I'm just not sure. Uh, you know how he sits on a pile of treasure and says those hobbits is. Maybe. He doesn't say that, does he? He probably says that hobbit because there's only one in the, the Hobbit. Hence the title, The Hobbit. You know how he sits on a pile of treasure? I'm sitting on a pile of sentimental value accrued from two or three years of doing nothing but stream Team Fortress 2 and then starting doing variety content because it's slightly less brain desearing. Desearing egg. He used his dead ringer. That's how the, uh, that's how... Oh, I just remembered Carl Otso. You guys remember him? I was going to say that's how Carl Otso would say it. I haven't spoken to that man in actually like a hundred years. What do you think everyone's up to? Like all these like Team Fortress people. Do you think they've all got like jobs now and stuff? Do you think they're all like, oh yeah, we used to we used to play Highlander together. Yeah, I now work as an accountant. Probably something like that, isn't it? They got like responsibilities. He ah, oh, I missed. You can do the old one two skadoo, go one way and then the other way. I remember. I remember the old woolen strats. The one twos, skadoos, and skadees, and skadars. Such as, for example, not actually aiming for headshots, but just kind of aiming where they're probably going to go. Because it's way easier that way. Scout, stop bullying. Put your bully gun away. He, he didn't. I'm burnt to death. I'm sorry, but that's a heckin' big heck from me, my human son. But yeah, moving on. I'm not sure what to do with this channel in terms of variety content. Because um, I'm never quite sure what VODs I should keep on my second channel. Uh, obviously, like, most of them go on there. But I'm not sure what I should post here and what I shouldn't. Like, I posted the Zelda 1 playthrough. I really enjoyed that, mostly. Um, so I think that was that was a fine little fit. Like, you know, two little episodes, a little short series. And the Osu VODs, obviously, should probably stay on my alt, because I play that game a lot. And it would get kind of tiring to have this channel just filled with a hundred thousand of them, you know? Like, highlights are good. I quite like the Osu highlights. Like, the little short, you know, 30 second to one minute one. Oh, I'm gonna die. Um, but like, the whole VOD is probably... Keep that on the alt. But it's like the middle ground where I'm not sure. Like, the last Zelda randomizer took three streams to finish. We were stupid, and we selected um, Towers in Wind Waker as a randomizer option, which just makes the game very long. And we also did, like, Entrance randomizer, so all the grottos were randomized, making it really hard to keep track of where we had and hadn't been. Like, in Ocarina of Time, Entrance randomizer is much easier, I think, because the grottos don't actually do anything, they're just a chest. Whereas in Wind Waker, they often lead to somewhere else, or they require an item to finish. Um, oh heck. Is he crouching? Is this Counter-Strike? <laughs> I don't know if people did that in this game. I thought everyone like just goes <laughs> like that. They make like bloody Donald Duck on heroin noises. Slowly ODing. Or fastly. Depends how you think about it or if you can speak the English language properly, which I can't. Obviously as a native speaker, my English sucks. Are you going to turn around and shoot me? I would have done that. That would have been the swag points that you deserve, Lecter. You're a good spy. Maybe. Maybe you're a really, really bad spy, but you're an insanely good sniper, and it just carries over. Because of course it just carries over. It's the source engine. You're kind of clicking near the boy. We're gonna have a big spy duel, he's gonna kill me. Heck. Oh, whoa! wee oh, wee oh, wee oh. he ya Oh, he ran off! You cheeky little sod. You lose the spy duel. I'm sorry, you, you've conceded your loss. You can't win. You have to give up. He ya I wouldn't do that. <laughs> All right, so now we've proven that we have larger testicles than the other player. Um, it's time for- wait, Lector, I haven't made my friends list. Who the hell is that? Is he like from chat? Sorry if you're from chat. Also, hello if you're from chat. Who the hell are you? You must be a nice person then if you're in my friends list. No one's in my friends list. This- this man isn't in my friends list and he plays medic. And everyone knows that medics are all- I was going to say soulless people. They probably are soulless if they play Medic in Highlander. Like, how do they put up with that abuse? You've played Highlander, chat. It probably st it still exists, sorry. Highlander? Is there any of those a Nations Cup? Medics! They get yelled at so much by, like, everyone for every mistake. If you, if you manage to play Medic in this game, and you put up with people, congrats. You are a bigger man than I could ever be. I played Medic once, and it was the last game I ever played. Heck. It's just, it's like mental heck. Whoa, that was pretty cool, wasn't it? Killed like Luffy from um, One Piece Man, I think it's called. I see, I haven't, I haven't actually watched any of those really long shows. I know a friend in college who watched all of Bleach. I don't know why. 
I don't know why he watched Bleach, but he watched like, you know, all 300 episodes of that. Don't know how people manage it. Uh, oh, actually, fuck, I forgot to mention, there we go. Um, after like 10 years of waiting, um, Index 3 got an anime adaption. It was actually like 9 or 10 years we waited from Index 2 to 3. And like, it was quite funny. If those of you that know the memes, the memes of the world, stuff like, oh, you know, will Haruhi ever actually get like another season? Um, or Nichiju or whatever. And Index 3 was on that list of haha, it'll never get a sequel. Um, and it's quite funny because not only did we get Index 3, we're also getting the Accelerator spin off, like literally this season. Like, what the heck's happening? There's also like One Punch Man 2, which I haven't been watching. Oh shit, I'm sorry. I've killed him. No, I haven't. He also doesn't care about his sandwich. I want to apologize to Finn the Human. I'm sorry. Look, I'll protect you from the people that are going to come in and kill you. No, our team's about to cap. No one's going to come out this door. Are they? Mate, mate. Where's... Oh, there he is. You stay up there. Oh, I didn't mean to knock you off. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. I just wanted to hit you on the head and, like, it's like a like, cheeky little wink. You know how, like, guys nod each other's head? Like, you nod head, right? You see, like, another guy, you, like, nod your head and you're like, yeah, you're in agreement. You're both guys. You recognize that the other man is also a man. You, you nod your head in, like, agreement. Like, yeah, hey. Heck. He. Ya. He. Ya. Ah. Spin. Big spin. He. Ya. He. Ya. Ha ha. It counts, even though I stopped for a second to aim. <laughs> it counts as doing a cool spin. Don't shoot your gun. Heck. Let me down. Oh, well. That was fun. I'm gonna find out who this Lecter man is. Oh, wait, apparently he's Doctor Lecter, and he's looking for looking for a team any div. So there you go. Shout outs to him if you want to spy on your sixes team. Add him to your team. Anyway, it's been long enough. My brain's starting to hurt, and it's been very hot in the UK lately. As I've not mentioned the whole video, you'll be happy to know. But it did hit 34 the other day in Oxford, which is pretty hot considering air conditioning doesn't exist here yet. That moon's looking a bit squished. Apparently in France it hit like 47? 48? Like what the hell? France, Spain? What's what's going on? Where'd your heat come from? But anyway, it's hot, it's toasty. I've got to stream in an hour and I haven't eaten lunch yet. So it's like 7. So I'm going to end the video there. I hope you all enjoyed it. I had a good time. I'll see you all next time. Uh, or on the stream or on Discord or wherever, wherever I happen to see you. But yeah, have a good time. Uh, goodbye. <laughs>